name is Andrew Smith. I'm the technical director of the EVSR uh, electric racing program. I'm also the curriculum coordinator and senior instructor of the Alfred State College Motorsports Program. At EVSR, we uh, made the very uh, determined choice to use lithium ferrous phosphate battery chemistry in the race cars. Uh, this is commonly abbreviated uh, LFP. The um, chemistry is unique uh, in that there is virtually no free lithium present in the battery at any given time. So what that means is there's very, very little in the way of fire hazard. There's really no chance of a runaway lithium fire like you can get with your common over the road uh, electric vehicle lithium ion batteries. Uh, the LFP batteries uh, that we use, the downside is they're not as energy dense as some of the competitive uh, batteries out there for powering EVs. So uh, we deal with uh, the weight, our battery pack weighs about 600 pounds and we have to uh, leave a lot of space in the car for them. Uh, however, uh, one of the unique features uh, of the cells we use is their ability to withstand impact. So it actually, the battery packs on the sides of the cars actually uh, provides an additional margin of safety from side impact. And the, uh, the really big thing about this chemistry is the lack of free lithium makes it virtually impossible to get a lithium fire started. Uh, basically all that burns uh, if you were to subject the car to a crash significant enough to start a fire is the plastic casing which is the same, you know, for any, any, anything encased in plastic, the plastic will burn, but the battery itself uh, really does not burn. And it's easily extinguished with water. It doesn't take a tremendous quantity of water. And uh, therefore, existing racetrack firefighting measures are more than adequate to contain uh, any kind of fire that we would have uh, with the EVSR. So our LFP batteries, uh, compared to the lithium ion batteries that are used in the road going vehicles, uh, there's quite a big difference in, in multiple uh, scenarios that could result in, in emergency uh, at the track. For instance, if you puncture the uh, LFP battery, virtually nothing happens. It, it, it'll, uh, it'll outgas uh, some gas and that's about it. Uh, even when we destroy a cell, the, it still conducts through the cell and the car generally is able to continue uh, even with a damaged cell. So uh, puncturing uh, the batteries is uh, you know, quite easy to do in the racing environment. When you're racing wheel to wheel, um, you know, it speeds over 100 miles an hour, there's Armco, there's other cars, it's very easy to have a crash that can result in a puncture of the battery pack. So when you puncture the lithium ion battery, it creates a very sudden reaction and almost always results in a fire. And these fires are very difficult to put out. Uh, the recommended amount of water to control the fire uh, on the Tesla is 5,000 gallons. And even after dousing the car with that much water, the battery pack may still reignite. And this is one of the big contributing factors of why we chose the LFP battery chemistry. In the course of uh, our testing at the racetracks, we purposely pushed the limits well beyond what we would normally do uh, racing the EVSR just to see what would happen, uh, just to do testing that no one else has done. And the result of this was we did manage to overload the battery pack badly enough to get a venting uh, episode, which resulted in a small fire, which only took uh, about two gallons of water to put out. And the fact is that the car was able to drive during that incident, was able to drive right to where the water was. And after the fire was put out, the car was still drivable. 
Now, trying to do wheel-to-wheel uh, -wheel racing or any duration of racing with the current lithium-ion technology uh, that's in the road-going vehicles, it is not possible to sustain uh, the speeds that you need to sustain in racing without a serious overtemp situation of the battery, uh, which almost certainly will lead to fire. So in our testing, had we been using lithium ion batteries and had pushed them uh, the way we pushed our LFP batteries, we would have certainly resulted in a runaway fire that uh, at the minimum would have burned the car to the ground, uh, probably would have left a hole in the racetrack and uh, we would probably not be welcome back. Uh, we're very proud of the fact that we are the only uh, team in existence that races electric vehicles at racetracks with no uh, additional safety protocol required. These cars do not require any special firefighting measures or anything uh, beyond what a normal race car uh, would require. And uh, the simple fact is that compared to uh, your race cars that contain bags of gasoline, uh, these cars are actually far safer. In the world of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, uh, this battery chemistry is really the only choice that we see as viable from a safety standpoint.